so so this one will be a solid roller in a in a drag style car and he's got some uh is some this the amc 401 401 so he's got some oiling features that were that are specific to a drag application um the oil pump mounts off the side so instead of sucking oil through the pickup screen and all the way through the block they actually have an external line that goes into the pan okay has a swinging pickup in there that goes directly to the pump and then the pump roots it back through the block without having to go through a bunch of 90 degree turns and stuff like that okay wow so on his block in particular we're actually going to oversize this hole uh -huh. uh, for better oiling and then i have to put a restrictor behind this one for just that side of the motor just to restrict the oiling per his recommendations that's okay. what that's what he that's wants that's what he wants yeah and then wow. on this block the deck is set up set up for o-ring oh it is right and people with a keen eye might might see that there's an extra hole here these are not standard on any of the amcs so okay the custom machine heads custom machine block and then is that to uh get a better ceiling on the head gasket exactly okay that'll be the stud that girdle for, girdle? It, for the weight right. gap but he also has a torque plate specifically made with those extra bolt holes in it oh wow so we can use this to torque it yep. um unfortunately on this particular motor the cylinder heads that were specific to that motor that had the extra bolt holes one of them was cracked oh wow he's gonna get that one repaired um get it repaired that way he can use it in the future but in the meantime we're just gonna plug those holes um and then he'll just use the standard bolt pattern for the cylinder head gotcha. so we'll end up having to line hone it with the stud girdle on for the mains uh-huh torque plate hone it with uh the gas with the gas that he provided and then so this is the crank that he had uh machined for it okay and i say that because from this particular crank we'll get it out of the bag this particular crank is uh, off that ground. Oh, is it? Yeah. So you get it a little bit further, longer stroke, huh? Yeah. So sometimes you can see it. Usually you can notice it right here. So it'll be even if the journal was the same size. But see how? Yeah. See how much more material more out of there. Yeah. So they'll they'll rate, they'll move the center line out this way. Uh huh. And they'll decrease the diameter of the bearing. So this one probably has a small journal Chevy style rod bearing. Yep. Uh, on this particular one. I'd have to double check on the rods, but so it's increased stroke. So it's bigger than 401. Right. In this case. So, and then this one, I believe is a, I want to say it's a 390 crank because it was forged steel, uh -huh. but it's offset ground to increase that stroke. Interesting. Yeah. He had a custom set of pistons. He said this is the most expensive set of pistons I've ever I've ever purchased or so had made. He, so he's going for it here. Yeah, this is this is uh, his specific build. I forget what it was, but bore diameter is four two. I don't know if it'll say total cubic inches. I'd have to double check. You have the to stroke. do a little bit of math. Yeah. yeah, but he said, like I said, he said it was sticker shock. He's never had a piston <laughs> made that's quite that expensive. Wow, well, that so, looks beautiful. Yeah. And he, he gets a lot of them made from uh, Autotech, uh, race deck pistons, so uh -huh. good, good quality pistons. Uh, and then we'll hone the block for the dimensions he wants. Yep. Um, and everything like that. They obviously give you, uh, race deck's pretty good about giving you a total spec on their piston. They want you to bore it to the size because that'll give you the side clearance that you want. In this case, if the pistons measure out that one, that that diameter then it would give you four thousandths uh set clearance and you can adjust it from there too if you're running it really hard yeah in this case he might because it's a, it's a drag car application uh, yep. solid roller cam in particular on the amc's the outside corners where the bolt uh the bolt head bolts bolt uh the head to the block they're known for cracking they're, yeah. they're just it's kind of the way the, the casting is and they're kind of just hanging out there and amc's actually torque their heads to quite a bit I mean, it's like 105 or something it's it's pretty crazy so 
um, them being out there, they just kind of crack on those outside edges. So he sends them out. He'll send a whole pallet of them to California. He's a serious yeah, guy. Yeah, he's he's a <laughs> local guy that does a lot of AMC. Very meticulous. He's a good guy to work with. Too. Yeah. But yeah. Well, you stuff. like the guys that do their homework, right? Yeah. They know oh, what yeah. they're this doing. This guy totally does. Yeah. This guy is, he's a, uh, like I said, he's a really nice guy. Uh huh. Uh, really easy to work with. Uh, and some of the projects he brings in are pretty cool, too. So yeah. The next one will be that AMC 327. Okay. We'll get talking on that okay, one. Okay, we'll get to the 327 story. That's very good. Yeah, because I don't hear about people modifying and racing AMC engines that often. No, you really don't. Like I said, and this crank is just crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, if you notice, there's some screw holes drilled and tapped in here. Mm -hmm. Because it's a solid roller cam, um, you, there's really no way of uh, the lifters holding the, the cam in place. Uh, compared to like a flat type of cam shaft. Okay. So on this particular one, he had a cam plate made specific for his application and the use of a solid roller cam uh, or any kind of roller cam it would work with. But um, that'll keep the the cam located front to back in the block. So the, the holes are drilled there. Well, for that uh, particular reason. And what about, it looks like you got an oil line. Is yeah. that an oil line so there? So this is pretty standard for AMC oiling. Okay. Um, I double checked with him to make sure it was okay with a solid roller because you want to, with a solid roller, you don't need as much oil to the lifters and up top, which is part of the reason why he wants me to put that restrictor in there too. Okay. So he said this one's fine. Um, and then it's a deadheaded system is the way the oiling is. So he definitely wants restricted oil on one side more yeah. than the other. So, okay. Well, that's interesting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Will. Yeah. No worries.